What's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Living in Arizona and today we are going to make a video as per a request from Yaya P. Cool name by the way. <laughs> Just because it's fun to say it. Do a top 10 deadliest animals in Arizona. Okay, so we're going to do that in this video. And uh, just in case you're wondering, I'll tell you real quick, it's not what you expect they are going to be. Uh, some of the some of the ones that I would have anticipated based on date or based on my own thoughts didn't end up being the ones you got to watch out for. So let's go ahead and dial this in here. If you are new to living in Arizona or do already live in Arizona, do subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends if people are thinking about moving here because they're probably going to want to know about this stuff. And also drop a comment below asking questions about videos that you would like to see and join our group. Uh, as you can see, living in Arizona on Facebook, you can hang out with us there. So let's talk about this. What is it that is the most dangerous animals in Arizona? And there is a list, but before we even get started, I'm just going to tell you really right off the top. So some of you guys are already knowing, look at this, look at what this says in Arizona. Bees are more dangerous than snakes. But watch out for dogs. Okay, so some of you would have thought, well, man, a rattlesnake. By the way, that's the one I would have picked as the most dangerous. But as it turns out, more people are attacked by dogs, like neighborly dogs, than any other thing in Arizona. That's like the, the most crazy thing. Of those, 478 people were killed by bees. Okay, so here's what it is. The study counted 1610 human deaths relating to animal encounters between 2008 and 2015. So this is uh, coming from animals in the United States, right? We can even look at that uh, database right there. But the most fatal animal encounter with 576 deaths involved other mammals, including cats, horses, cows, other hoofs, stock, pigs, raccoons, and mammals. Could you imagine getting killed by a pig? Whoa. The study said most of these other mammals' death occur on farms, likely as a result of encounters with horses and cattle. Bees, wasps, and hornets cause the most harm among wild animals. So this is on ArizonaCentral.com, right? And a total of 48 people, about six per year, died each year from 2008 to 2015 from snake bites, according to the study. While while we're talking about stings and bites, here's what you need to know about dogs, bees, and wasps in sna and snakes in Arizona. Dogs send more people to the ER. According to a 2000 report by the Arizona Department of Health Services, dogs were responsible for 34,000 emergency visits, inpatient hospitalizations. So more than 70% of those were dog bites. And if you have children, you know, your neighborhood dog could be the most dangerous, the, the neighborhood, your neighbor's dog could be the, your biggest threat and you didn't even know it. So, you know, sad, but that's what they're telling you based on the data. Okay. So you can see here's that report here, which you can catch up on sciencedirect.com. So some other things that you may want to know that just kind of happened out of nowhere, you know, a bobcat attacks two people and dog near Phoenix. This happened in Anthem, Arizona. So, you know, this happened back in 2017. So you could be out and about and have a, an encounter with a wild animal, but it's secondary to dogs. And they're also saying bees, right? So let's go ahead and talk about some of the wild animals that, you know, people don't typically come across if, unless they're, you know, if they're living in the city, you're not going to come across these so much, but these are venomous animals that do live in Arizona, Arizona bark scorpion. Okay, rattlesnake. Now that's the one that you got to really pay attention to because when you're looking into bushes and whatnot, or even just out hiking, you'll see them sprawled out. And uh, sometimes they match the ground. Look at them. I mean, that that's the color of the desert floor. The, and they don't always rattle their, their rattler. But that's how you know a difference between, say, a king snake and a rattlesnake is the rattler has those little rattlers on the back. Okay. Arizona coral snake. So those are the two most dangerous snakes. The king snake, the bull snake, those snakes, the gopher snake. Don't worry about those. Those are not dangerous. Okay, the California king. Now, this one is kind of funny because it's really rare that you see it, but Gila monster chew their victims holding on to their, their to press their to pass their venom into the wound. So a Gila monster is said to if it grabs a hold of you, it will bite and lock in 
on your arm or on your leg and it's hard to get off and sometimes if you get it the only way to get it off is put it in water because it doesn't like water it's a reptile okay these ones right here are supposedly more dangerous than snakes and all the others this is like the most dangerous animal we have these insects are probably the smallest creature on the list but probably the deadliest not all bees are created equal and Africanized bees are just mean okay they're so mean that they are better known by their another name, killer bees. Every year, these bees attack in swarms and kill people, especially if they feel their hive is under attack. If you see a swarm of bees and you see a beehive, go in the other direction. Okay? What is that? Okay, so you have another one that is really a pain in the butt. You wouldn't want to get bit by this, a black widow. These are really tough. You can, they're identified by that red dot right there. And uh, I believe that's the woman, the, the, the female. Black widow markings are on their abdomen. Is, are on their ad, abdomen is easy to identify. The red hourglass shape means danger. Here's another one, a brown recluse. Ouch. Really, seriously, ouch. I know someone who's gotten bit by one of these, and it is ouch. Tarantula. These, I don't know if they're necessarily uh, poisonous. I've seen people just grab them, pick them up, and let them crawl over them. I don't know if these are too uh, dangerous. Centipedes, I do know you don't want to get a centipede to walk on you or anything like that. A kissing bug, yeah, these are these bugs will bite you and make you itch. Like, if you ever get bug bites, these are usually from these kissing bugs. A blister beetle. So this is just one resource for it. This is ArizonaFamily.com. And then we're going to look at a more in-depth list, see if we find any other new ones that are going to be added. And of course we are. So they've got the Africanized honeybee, the banded desert centipede, the bark scorpion, and this one they have the black bear. I also, uh, so, so this is not just venomous animals, this is all animals. And so the black bear right here, you find these in Mount Lemmon, you find them in northern Arizona. Uh, the black bear is the least aggressive of all bears. Like... You'll see a bear come into your campsite, try to eat your food, and you just bang your pots and pans and it goes away. It doesn't mean taunt them, but these are not grizzlies, okay? You see a grizzly, you better run for the hills, but they're not here in Arizona. They're in Alaska, and I think they're as far south as Montana. But um, yes, again, they're talking about the centipedes and the Gila monsters, the kissing bug. Here's the Mojave rattler, okay? That Yet again, the rattler. This is the one that I'm really, that's the one that gets me kind of concern mountain lion okay we've talked about mountain lions on this channel before the mountain lions you go deep up into these hills the superstition mountains the white tanks the mcdowell mountain you go down to the catalina mountain you go you go out and about deeper into the desert you go you will be in mountain lion territory and you will not know they're there but they will know you're there okay they know that area way better than uh their instincts are, are to tell you or to tell them they're there okay Here's another one, tarantula hawk. Look at that thing. That thing just looks fierce to begin with. Western diamondback rattlesnake. So you can see there's just a variety of animals out here that you might not get in other places. But um, the bark scorpions are really common. These are these are probably the most common thing you're going to see in your backyard or at your house is a bark scorpion. And obviously they've got stingers. You don't want to get bit or stung by one, but uh, you know, you're know you going to have to call out the orchid man and he's going to have to take care of business, right? So venomous and poisonous animals in Arizona, a look and quick reference. You have invertebrates, invertebrates, spiders, scorpions, other invertebrates. And so, yeah, I mean, they've got different uh, lists here that you can kind of dial in, but they want to help you out. You can find that on University of Arizona's College of Agricultural and Life Sciences. And then so, again, we talked about this. Phoenix New Times, they're talking about... Uh, the, the, the most dangerous ones that are on record, scorpions, bears, bees, dogs, and bobcats. Five of Arizona's most terrifying animal attacks. So you can see here, here was one. A bobcat wandered into a bar in Cottonwood and attacked two people. So that's just, these are real world examples of things that did happen. A man from Louisiana went for a hike and ended up getting killed by a swarm of bees. Tragically, he was only 23 years old. It's hard to imagine a worse way to go out. A guy was stung by a scorpion while waiting to go through security at Sky Harbor Airport. Serious question. Now, how does the state 
still have a tourism industry like why does anyone come here okay <laughs> right a Swedish exchange student was were maul Swedish exchange students were mauled by their a host family's dog as the story proves it's not just wildlife that can be terrifying people keep some pretty vicious household pets around here a Gilbert woman was attacked by a bear while walking her dog sadly she died of a brain hemorrhage Let's go ahead and take a look at this story because where did this happen? So this happened in Pine Top, not in Gilbert, but it happened in 2011. Last Okay, so Laura Hollingsworth was mauled by a bear on June 28th as she took her dog on a late night walk in the sports village area of Pine Top Country. So that's up in the White Mountains, that's northern Arizona. So that's an example of some cases that have happened around here. With five different uh, stories, you can find that on Phoenix New Times. And then you have this list here, which we already went over. We went over the one about the bobcats. And you have rattlesnakes, which I would say, things to know about rattlesnakes. Like I said, uh, they hide under things. That, a lot of things, is, is, you don't want to have this buildup of uh, debris in the corner of your yard. Or you don't want to have like overgrowth of brush and area. That's why it's good to prune things because that's where some critters can live and some snakes. And uh, like I said, when the further out you go out into the uh, the desert, the the likely you the more likely you are to see these things. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to make this video as per request. I've already made similar videos like this, but I figured I'd make it again because we have new subscribers. Thanks to everyone who's been watching and liking these videos, asking questions below, and joining us in our group on living in Arizona on Facebook, link below. And we will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe to this channel.